si Cosmore Grow Castle videos. As you can see, the damage is not that good and skills range is not that big. Now, let's check Fire Windy's performance in battle. Her damage is not that good compared to Dark Ranger's damage, which is also 1 star prestige. Therefore, you don't need to invest too much gold for her, or else gold is wasted. Now, let's check Ice Windy's performance in battle. Obviously, the damage is not good, but Ice Windy is a very good support because she can trigger Zero's passive skill. 
Zero's passive is chill, where in slowed mobs will receive an additional 10% damage. Remember, Ice Wind this skill can slow multiple monsters. In short, all units hit by Ice Wind D will receive an additional 10% damage. This is the reason why Ice Windy is a very good choice for Hell Mode or a Crowd Control deck. Now, is it worth it to spend gold for Ice Windy? The answer is no. A level 31 Ice Windy with a good knockback and cooldown item is good enough to reach higher wave. But on million waves and beyond, you still need to make her prestige hero. So she can use orb which can improve her ability to support other units. If you like this video, hit the subscribe and bell button so you are always updated to my latest video. 3k subscribers equals more Grow Castle videos. Gonna make it. You're not good enough. There's a million other people with the same stuff. You really think you're different, man? You must be kidding. Think you're gonna hit it, but you just don't get it. It's impossible. It's not probable. You're responsible. Too many obstacles. You gotta stop it, though. You gotta take it slow. You can't be a pro. No, it's your time no more.